Shooting yourself in the foot won't help. You're still coming on this mission. Oh, Captain. How fortunate. If you have a moment, there's a problem with my quarters. Oh, by all means. The Captain has absolutely nothing better to do than to discuss your accommodations. Only a few missing crewmen. Nothing serious. Doctor. Crewmen missing? How... regrettable. My apologies, Captain. We'll speak later, Minister. Two for transport. Standing by. Hopefully this bloody thing won't drop us on the edge of a cliff or the middle of an ocean. The subspace aperture transport system is the most reliable and efficient transporter ever developed, Doctor. I don't see how being sucked through a wormhole is any better than having one's atoms scattered through space. Do you ever stop complaining? I might, if things on this ship ever got as quiet as you promised me. Ready, sir. If I remember correctly, you got me started on this stuff. Aldebaran whiskey. Not just now, thank you. Welcome aboard, Thomas. How are you? Dreadful. What is this rubbish you've dragged me into? I'm sorry, did you say reporting for duty, sir? And what in God's name are you all wearing? Please tell me that's not the new duty uniform. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's ghastly. Although, it does have a certain whimsical je ne sais quoi, doesn't it? What am I doing here, Bryce? You're going to be running back and forth to Rahansu, getting in all manner of trouble. I'm not on board two minutes, there's already a station under attack. You need a combat med specialist. Could have had any doctor in Starfleet. So, why bring on a tired old exobiologist? She's a state ship, Thomas. Nothing but admirals and ambassadors on board. All tact and diplomacy while they smile through their lying teeth. I need someone I can count on. To do what? To have no tact or diplomacy whatsoever. Hmm. Think of all the interesting people you're gonna meet. It's gotta be better than Starbase 515. I was very comfortable on the Starbase. And you know I hate interesting people. <laughs> then tell me. Why did you accept this assignment? Because a very old friend, whom I have not seen in eight years, has apparently gone mad and taken command of a state ship. And he needs my help. Welcome aboard, Doctor. Reporting for duty, sir. Transport. Is that the Archer, Lieutenant? Likely, sir. I've confirmed our scans. By the markings, it's definitely a Federation diplomatic shuttle. The last known coordinates of Commander Jarn's team is 300 meters from our location just over that ridge. Wonderful, that's going to be a lovely hike. Well, we can always have Natira carry you if you like. I think I'll be quite all right. Captain, I'm reading three humanoid life signs. A Romulan, a half-human, half-Altusian, and a Sedacian. Sounds like our people. Lieutenant? I'm not sure, Captain. The life signs started disappearing one by one. 
my equipment just shut down. Everybody, check your weapons. My phaser's not working, Captain. Mine isn't working either. So much for rescuing. Avari to Phoenix. All right, keep your eyes open, people. Major Natira, you take point. Shaw, you're with her. Mr. Naran, you take six. Commander, these creatures, I've been thinking. Are you sure that's a good idea in your condition? They seem almost animal in nature, but their attacks are coordinated. The weapons are refined metal. And the distress signal that they used to lure us out here... It was very convincing, wasn't it? I don't think they could have done it on their own. Still got him? The life signs come and go. Everybody down. that? I'd rather we didn't wait around to find out. Keep moving! <gasps> go! 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 Tira! Shot! Cover fire! a signal. We must be close. Keep moving! There! Captain, why am I not surprised to see you here? Well, I can't let you have all the fun. Wait, where's Nitir and Shaw? They were just behind us. ship right now. Avari to Phoenix! Glad to hear your voice, sir. <laughs> Solera, can you get a transporter lock on any of our crew? Sir, you're so good. Please repeat. <laughs> now would be an excellent time, Commander. Yes. Get Where's the rest of the way team? Solera, report! Oh, Kyle Timish! Tau Krimich! Med team to transporter room four. Captain, can you hear me? There's been a malfunction. Solera, report. Captain, there's been a transporter malfunction. I can't explain it. Detira! I don't know what these things are, sir, but I do not like being played with. Shaw. Lost him. John, Tavon, stay with the doctor. Detira and I are going after Shaw. Hold this position. Oh, yes, we're quite cozy here. We'll just build a fire and sing Kumbaya till you get back, shall we? Captain, you should know. Just before the shuttle went down, I picked up a faint reading that might indicate some sort of hyperonic radiation. That could explain the malfunctions to our equipment. There is something else. We could find no evidence of a distress beacon when we first landed. Your point. We must consider the possibility that we are the victims of an elaborate subterfuge, what you would call an ambush. Noted. Jarn, keep trying on communications. Let's get moving, Major. Elaborate subterfuge. For a man trained in Vulcan logic, I must say you're showing a very healthy level of paranoia. As you were so fond of pointing out, Doctor, I am not a Vulcan. Don't you get tired of having two worlds fighting in that shiny head of yours? Doctor, your insults continue to be as dull as they are obvious. You two, knock it off! We're going after Shaw. Bloody daft, I say. The Major is with him. They'll be fine. I'm not sure what's scarier, those creatures or her. Ah! 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 Ah!
Captain Navari. Yeah.